If I ask you who your favorite team was, what would you say? Well, in our state, most people line up with Mississippi State, which is the right choice, by the way, or Ole Miss. And then look, around us, sure, there's some Alabama fans, but they've got the easy life. Regardless of who your favorite team is, most of us do have a preference. But did you know that spiritually there are two very distinct teams too? 1 John 5, 19 tells us this, that we know that we are of God and the whole world is under the sway of the evil one. This is clear. We either are on God's team, or maybe a better way to say it, is that we're either a part of God's family or we aren't. There's no middle ground. There, there's no in-between phase. And it can be hard sometimes because I've had people ask me, well, can't people who aren't Christians do good things? I mean, yeah, they, they absolutely can. But we know that our good works cannot earn salvation. Only Jesus and what he did on the cross and rising from the grave can please God. And then we walk in obedience from there. So the question is this, whose team are you on? Or what family do you belong to? If you haven't given your life to Jesus, there's nothing that God loves more than bringing in a lost and wandering orphan into the family of God. Consider this today because remember, change begins in you. The Change Begins in You is brought to you in part by Piggly Wiggly of Collinsville, Patrick Allen Companies, Mitchell Tire and Wrecker in Collinsville, and Mountie Cabinetry.